We've got John, pronouns he, him, calling from Canada, wants to talk about Pascal's wager and wants to say that we'll ask if we think we're in danger. John, you're on the Atheist Experience. How are you doing today? Hi, Forrest. How are you? Hello. I've never had a bad day. I'm happy to hear that. Anyway, uh, I was wondering, you've heard of Pascal's mm -hmm. wager. So to get right to it, what if you're wrong? Uh, so Pascal's wager, for those who are listening who haven't, aren't familiar with the phrase, is simply if the Christian dies and there is no God, then nothing happens. But if the Christian dies and there is a God, then they get to go to heaven. Meanwhile, if the atheist dies and there is no God, nothing happens. But if the atheist dies and there is a God, that atheist goes to hell and suffers for eternity. So it's just a safer bet to just go ahead and be a Christian because whether or not there's a God, you either get nothing or you get a benefit. Whereas if you're an atheist, you risk burning an eternity for hell. Um, and there's a lot wrong with that. First of all, Armin was Muslim. He, he, was, he was a devout Muslim. Does he not risking the same thing as an atheist then by being a Muslim at that time? What about literally every other religion ever? How worried are you as a, as a theist? Because it says here that you believe in God. So... Are you worried about Pascal's wager in Islam? Are you worried about the Islamic hell, that you're not going to go to the hell that Armin used to be afraid of? Are you worried about that at all? Uh, I'm not worried about that guy. I know there's only one. No, guy. of course not. What about believing in Thor and Zeus and Odin and 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 uh, uh, Quetzalcoatl and, and all of the other thousands of gods, many of which had hells and things like that. Are you worried about any of those? Let me tell you something. All those gods you're talking about did not create the greatest nation on earth, the United States of America that you live in. So, so what? Is There's only one Literally country. what? <laughs> they, just just setting that aside. No, you, I, I heard what you said, that the God of the Bible, I'm guessing, is what you're saying, created the United States. That's weird for a lot of reasons, but we'll get there later well, I, if we have the time. It's, it was Allah <laughs> that created the United States. Of Don't America. you know? It was Allah that created the United God States. We trust. It says on our money. Oh. Uh, when? We yeah. trust. Hey, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I'm. I. You, you go ahead. You go <laughs> ahead because that's that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Yeah, well, a law created United States with a whole bunch of heathens who believe in uh, Jesus Christ as God. Just okay. because you said a law, just because you put that on, just because you put that on your money, that doesn't make Christianity true. You should be afraid of Al You should all become Muslim, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I, if you actually see the description of hell in Islam, it's a lot worse than the description of hell in Christianity. So if Truth. you want to play it safe. Then you should convert to Islam just to make sure you avoid the worst hell, not just any hell, the worst hell. I heard you guys. I heard you guys talking about slavery and how the, the Bible condemn, condones. Wait, slavery. what? Are you gonna just ignore everything I said? Like, what is it? Like, what? What slavery? You just said that yeah. your God created the United States because you say in God we trust on your money. I don't understand how. Any of that works. I don't know if you're trolling us or if that's an actual argument. How do you know Allah did not create the United States and that Islam is yeah, the believe. true religion? Because I believe in God. That's why. Then, then that really is the end of it, isn't it? Okay. You picked your yeah. religion. And so Pascal's wager works for you because you already believe in the religion. Don't you don't saying. worry about the same exact conundrum in every other religion ever because you don't believe in those. So if I don't believe in your religion, why on earth would I care about Pascal's wager? When you realize why you're not believing in all of the other gods and you don't fear all of the other hells, you'll understand entirely why I don't believe in your God and I don't fear your hell. The exact same reason. You're an atheist too. I'm just an atheist about one more God. You're an atheist with all the other gods. I'm an atheist about one more. That's all. Forrest, I, I was wondering, why do you care so much about what people, what people believe? Plus, you have your own religion, the religion of atheism. We, we covered that. We covered that a minute ago. We, were you listening to the call <laughs> with, with uh, Carlos? Because your religion is affecting our lives! They can change genders. That's very dangerous. You're saying children on a bad path. You should be ashamed. Hey, John, really quick. 
uh, three things. Number one, I'm not. Um, I, I I would love to entertain your transphobia for a minute, so I could explain that sex and gender are different things. But it's not really worth our time at this time because we are already running late. Um, a, you already, if you want to hear why we care about what other people believe, go back and listen to the call with Carlos and listen to what Armin said right before that call. Religion affects us whether or not it's true. People force their religion on others. People use their religion all the time. Uh, oh, John hung up. Uh, but. People use their religion all the time to take away people's rights, take away people's freedoms, to be hurtful and harmful to all of us. It causes them severe emotional and mental trauma on people. Armin did an amazing job explaining how that happened to him. Um, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's very easy for you to go listen to what we actually said rather than just trying to call in and say whatever the hell you want to say. Also, I want to throw out, I'm, I'm ashamed, I'm not ashamed, sorry, I'm, I'm dejected that uh john chose to to chicken out at the last minute and not listen to the rest of the you know call probably explains why he thinks the pascal's wager is a reasonable argument because he's never actually listened to anybody who disagrees with him um but i just wanted to bring up like the treaty of tripoli which was signed in when was that it was signed by john adams in 1797 uh, article 11 of this treaty states as the government of the United States of America is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion, as it has in itself no character of enmity in, uh, uh, in the laws of religious tranquility of Muslim, and it goes on and on, but starts out with the statement from one of the founding fathers that this country was not in any way founded on Christianity. Also, I wanted to ask when he thinks in God we trust was added to our money and whatnot. It was in the 1950s, dude. It was not the original way we had things here. Uh, many of the founders were deists or were, were, you know, agnostics. Like, I don't, I'm sorry. If you honestly think that this government, that this country was founded on Christianity, that God made this place and that we have a reason to believe in Christianity because we need, you know, because we, we might go to this hell as if other hells don't exist. If you think that atheism is a religion, as you said at the end of the call, if you think that being trans is a religion, as you said at the beginning of the call, or at the end of the call there, I strongly encourage you to just try listening to someone who doesn't think the same way you do for like five solid minutes. Just try to listen to somebody who thinks a different thing and see what happens to your brain. It's a crazy drug. If you listen to somebody who disagrees with you and actually hear what they're saying, you might actually learn new things. And then you won't have these very, very basic thoughts and arguments that are so immeasurably easy to debunk. It's, it's, it's not like, oh, such surface level thoughts about such deeply important topics. It breaks my heart. And then here you see the reason why at the end. Dude hung up the second I let him, wouldn't let him continue saying transphobic bullshit. Ugh, not having that shit here. By the way, by the way I think the first country that recognized the United States as a country was Morocco, I think, which is yeah, an Islamic so. country, which proves that the United States was created by the only true God, Allah. So there's that. That's true. Um, also, yeah, that you can't yeah, deny, you proves can't it. argue with that. Proves yeah. It. Also, what if what about if we imagine a god that was just trying to see who's the most gullible, who are the most gullible people on earth to send mm -hmm. to hell? Maybe that's the test. Maybe if you believe in God, then he will send you to hell for being for just accepting uh, dogmatic beliefs and atheists are the only one who are going to heaven you can't if you if we're going to accept based on pascal's wager your version of reality why not this one this one actually makes even more sense than the you one know what there. yeah i've always thought if 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 i was the devil if i was actually the physical embodiment of evil like what would i do how would i get people to be as evil as possible because that's what the devil wants right you know so what i would do number one i would make sure that everybody mm -hmm. believed in the devil uh, and I would spread around this idea that the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing people that he didn't exist. I want people to think that they're getting ahead by believing in the devil. I want people to think that the devil is hiding himself. So they really try to believe it. Right. Um, and then the second thing I would do is I would put out a book where I claimed to be God. And I taught in the book that God wants you to be homophobic. 
and God endorses slavery. And I would put things in the book about how if you rape a virgin and pay her daughter or her father 30 bits of silver that you now own her as a wife, I would put bits in the book about slaves should obey their masters. I would put bits in the book about how uh, the, the, the founder of the religion said, sell everything you own and only follow me. I would put bits in the book about how you don't need evidence, you only need faith. I would put bits in the book about, about oppression and slavery and genocide and murder. I would make sure that I said, in the book that God uh, told the king to go slaughter the Amalekites, every man, woman, child, baby, uh, all the livestock. I would endorse genocide in the book. I would talk about all that stuff. And I would say that the actual devil is the one who wants you to like care about science and critical thinking and reason and equality mm -hmm. and fairness and justice, equality between the sexes, equality between the genders, equality between sexual Equalities, equality between races. That's that's what the actual devil talks about. No, that's not me. That's the the I'm really God, and I want homophobia and genocide. That's all I would do if I was the devil. I would make sure everybody knew I was real, and I would convince everybody that I was God. And I would make sure to pass around a book that says that the devil that you fear wants all the good things in the world, like peace and love and justice and science and reason. That's what I would do if I was Satan. I. And I would make the first sin acquiring knowledge, the fruit yes. of knowledge. That would, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's such a good point. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, we talked about that on the last uh, the last AXP that I was on, which I think was last week. We talked about that 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 in in Genesis, God tells the first lie ever. He tells the first lie in history. He invented lying. He tells Adam and Eve, if you eat from this tree, you'll die immediately. And all the serpent does is say, that's not true. The serpent tells the truth. The serpent says, you won't die. You just learn what right and wrong is. You learn knowledge. You get knowledge. You learn about good and evil. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what any good person wants? But no, of course, the first sin is thinking for yourself and asking questions. And now everybody's damned because of it man 